Hey everyone, welcome to the finals of the Second Standard Monster Sanctuary Tournament. Um, I'm Heron Crane. And I'm Dos Equis. And today we're going to see the match again, like you said, the finals. We got Barrel versus Flowing Jeffelup. Yeah, so it'll be really interesting to see these players, because we've seen them a bit in the semis already, going into game one here. Yeah, so obviously you got Sorcery versus Challenge Balance here. This is a bit of a deja vu from the last uh, standard tournament. <laughs> and had, had the same kind of mashup in the finals. Yeah, essentially the same team comps, but slight variations here and there. There's been some balancing changes too. But we'll see what happens. Both of these teams obviously are capable of winning. Just see who gets the momentum going. Sure. Yeah, so um, looks like Flown Jump is going first. Going to start to kind of buff everything up, get those charge stacks. I wonder if he'll attack this turn or try to go for a more defensive strategy. We'll see. He could go for a Shroud, or he could just go apply some Blinds since uh, there's no Purify on the other side. Yeah, there he goes for that. Go some Blinds. Oh, did a lot of damage, damage well. too. Oh, oh, Pops the Phoenix Affinity, so that's a pretty good first turn from him there. Yeah, and... and... You know, sorcery, this variation of sorcery has no way of removing blinds, so. Yeah, no, pure Seems blind. like a very good start. Good predictions here, up. but lots of blind to see what happens. No oh, kill, oh, so that's pretty Almost rough. got a double kill, but not quite. Yeah. Obviously, channel heal coming in. You're going to get the auto heal, probably some, some what you call it. Yeah, the stacks. Oh, no, he goes for the buffs. Yeah, mm -hmm. get some extra channels in. That's nice for him, too. Yeah, it gets more and more difficult to kill these the Toad and Argyope as they get buffed up, and and it's almost like I wonder if um, if Barrel would have been better off just single target fire move on on Argyope to get rid of that cha channeling balance. Yeah, possibly it might come back to bite him because he is pretty set up now. He's got a five and six on his Toad and his Draco Noir. Obviously, he could still maybe kill the uh, Argyope, get rid of that channeling balance, but it's pretty good on there. Let's see good predictions here. But not enough to really kill that Argyle, sadly. I guess if he crit on this, he might. Oh, no crit, unfortunately. No crit on the Volatile Shield. So he's going to live, and then he's going to probably heal up really nicely here because he's got the uh, the Toad, the Challenge support there. Get some more heal. Yep, back to full. Yeah, Toad is just such a such a great healer. So much going for him. Let's see if he can get a kill here. Possibly. He's got a lot of channel blinds, so he's got two blind stacks here. Yeah, this this pull through offense not as not as tanky as some of the ones that I've seen. <laughs> he does end up living. Comp particularly. <laughs> he does end up living, but he's got a whole ton of blind stacks now and a couple of uh, tether stacks. Back to full shield though, so mm. you never know. Wait, try to take out the toad? Let's see. Looks like it. Looks like he's gone for the toad. Oh, the, the miss. A volatile shield miss, so that's a big bummer for him. But he still has plenty of shield, so he might live this. He has two barrier stacks now. Mm. Yeah, Glodra is sitting there with six stacks of sorcery and four stacks of barrier. Yeah, Glodra is sitting pretty right now. He even got double, double the uh, spell shield there, so he's he's kind of good. Just applying some more sticky threads there, getting some buffs off. Comes the blinds, no kill though. Ooh, but the the wound stacks there really messing with his region. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he's brutal sometimes. But he's gonna get full shield, looks like, so he might have a chance to kill something here. Yeah, actually, Glodra being low on on mana that turn might affect the combo. Yeah, it really lowers the combo with that low, mm -hmm. level one solar burst there. Yeah, it looks like he just has too many, too much uh, channel in there. So he's a, he should really try to wait out, maybe build up some charge sacks, but we'll see if he can get a kill. Yeah, it's, it's hard to know, honestly, whether, like, because Draco Noir keeps getting closer and closer to being able to kill. And... Yeah, it is a balancing act. You, wanna, you don't want to stay too defensive and you just die. Uh, that's always yeah. a bummer. Yeah, that's like, the thing about this, this channeling team is that just once it gets established, it's very hard to, unless you have a way of removing buffs, it just gets extremely 
Hard to kill. Yeah, it really gets out of hand there. Not, not even damage range, it's just so hard to kill. You get your full channels and then a barrier eventually pops up and you're just like, okay, we're not gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I do wonder if he had waited out last turn if he could have been able to, he might to have kill something. been able to kill something here with the lava stream. But then again, he is getting more and more blind stacks and that's always an issue too. Right. Yeah, and the only way to remove them is by attacking, so... Yeah, and then... And he, every time he doesn't get a kill, he's gonna get more tether stacks, even less damage, so... Really kind of lose-lose here for... For Barrel. Yeah, both yeah. Argyope and Noir have Dark Stroud there. Oh, he's targeting Beetleoid this time. Goes for the Beetleoid, I guess he couldn't kill and he's just trying to get rid of something. Is Spark Shower a physical or magic move? I forget. It is a magical move. A magical, yeah. So, so he can't use it, it on Noir. It is good. By sorcery. Let's put the Sire Storm. Maybe he's trying to get some burns out. Since he can't get a kill. Yes, yeah, at this stage it's so hard to even... like Because any any work you do is just going to be undone immediately. Or yeah, there's no point in single target full shield. If, you, if you're just going to... They're just going to full heal it. Basically wasting turns at that point. Okay, so he's really Beetle going for that Beetleoid now. Stacking the charge stacks and sharing them. Back to the Dark Shroud. A lot of damage there. Alright, so we're getting into Infinity Stacks. So ideally, he needs to get a kill here, because if not, that Noir will probably kill that Pulto the next turn. Doesn't look like he'll be able to, though. Yeah, wow, it doesn't even go through the shield, it looks like. Yeah, he's got no charge stacks, he's got 10 terror stacks. It's, it's uh, not a good place to be in. Yeah, at this point, it looks like a done deal, really. He's <laughs> fully stacked up, he's got all his bounces, he's full shields, going into infinity. I don't see how Barrel's gonna make up this deficit. Yeah, Elder Gel may be able to come in and fireball one monster, but then Draco Noir can just kill it with Shadow Storm or Sh Noir, Shadow Grasp. Noir's just got that neutral and he he has no effective moves on Noir with his remaining monsters. Yeah, he's and he's also got um, Nautilid in the back, which is his support, so it looks like he's going to come in now. But yeah, he's yeah, got really the damage. Best play. Really best play here. Try to save that Elder Geo coming, but again, it is looking like GG. So I, wonder, I wonder if the um, the proposed nerf to channeling balance will, will make this team a bit less uh, oppressive than it currently is. I haven't played too much with the changes, but it, it should bring it more in line. Because he did at first, before I guess he got all them stacks, it was getting kind of close there. So yeah. it might be just enough to tip it over to a KO. Also lower the damage, so I might give him some more turns to stack up uh, some charge stacks. To not be, you know, don't be scared of dying from all the channeling balance damage increase. Or yeah, it's interesting how we're getting to him. Mm. It's interesting how just slight variations in percentages can, can make such a big difference um, to the overall effect of a skill. Yeah, those little changes. The, the difference between a KO and that is really. A big thing. <laughs> Another miss on the bounce on the field. It doesn't look like it would have mattered, but still, it's kind of bit of a war of attrition here, just <laughs> waiting out the infinity stacks. And... Wow, all those buffs being removed as well. Yeah, the double cleanse of the argue up is so good, and then he just throws some stacks on you because he's like, you know. Screw you. <laughs> Just for a good measure. Oh, now Bloater is getting whittled down. Yeah, it's getting to the point where he can just, you know, focus someone else. Doesn't matter if Poltorb is not going to kill anything. But Barrel's sticking yeah. out to the end.
Yeah, I guess I guess the only maybe thing that could have changed this setup is that if if Polterofen had maybe waited a couple turns and just built up charge stacks when Vitaloid was still alive. But it's so hard to know what the yeah, right move is. It's always a, a risky business again, especially with some stacks. The stacks are really what what killed him because he was fine as long as he wasn't dying, but these stacks could outpace the, the charge stacks before you get a wow. ooh, big shadow fun just deletes both of them and gets the other two pretty low there. I think so in Michelle will get a here. will get a kill with fireball. I believe in it. With five stacks of infinity, you, you'd hope. Fireball, fireball. Oh, look, it looks like it could. Oh, oh with the top, no. So he didn't oh, even, did he die? Did he get the kill? No, he. he... Back from the brink of death. Doesn't look like blood magic didn't proc, or maybe the the, the poison's bottom back. But either way, he's gonna get a clean six out here probably. So let's see what happens in game two. Let's just finish this up. Yep. Shadow storm, I, I imagine will. But dark shroud. And you still got Phoenix affinity and revive, so you never know. <laughs> <laughs> So the oh, dot's coming in, everyone's on. one shot range. Maybe he can get a KO, you know, redeem himself a little here. Yeah, this Argeo, I, I feel like, yeah, the Argeo is really crucial. You have to kill it early or it will just get out of hand. Yeah, it's really critical to always kill Argeo when you see a toad and so he's going to try it. Ooh, no miss. Crits. Oh, miss. blood magic oh, though. Does he live? Oh, he got blood him. Magic. Yeah, look at that, brought it back. I lied, this is actually... Five, <laughs> not six though. So Spinner is just gonna come in. It's probably gonna yeah, drop a big, webs, massive, yeah. sticky waves and kill everything. Yeah. There it is. Oh yeah, Spinner doing Spinner things. Game one, going to Jeff up there. So do we see any changes? It looks like he's taken Polterofen out. Um, for brought his own noir. See. <laughs> And no switches from the uh, flowing Jeffo up. This time he's elected to lead with Nautilid. Yeah, he does get first turn this time too, so that might that may make the difference here. Hmm. Is he gonna be greedy or no? He's going for it. Oh, that's right. actually really unlucky. Toad. Did he get no crit there? Look like. He didn't crit, yeah. Yeah, no crit, so that's a big bump from him coming with the challenge heal. I wonder if uh, if B. Lloyd being out would have made a difference with the uh, critical sorcery. <laughs> it might have. I mean, the eagle gets pretty high up there with your strike and precision and all that. Yeah, I feel like if you're going first with the sorcery team, uh, if you want to get the most aggressive possible lead, then maybe it is better to lead B. Lloyd. Yeah, you rather want to get the momentum. So Phoenix Affinity gets popped with the Ice Spear there. So this is looking pretty good for Jeff Lop. He's got a decent amount of channel on Toad and Argy up there already. Oh, goes for the Solar Burst. A little greedy maybe, but oh, no, yeah. yeah, a little greedy. It needs to needs to get rid of this Argy up if he can. If there's any way to do that. Maybe should have gone for the ulti there, but I understand he really wants to just. He could have gotten good good rolls there. Maybe get two bring back the momentum on his side. Yeah, I guess I guess he couldn't he couldn't fire pillar because Gloder had used Solar Blaze, but Oh right, he would have spread that. He may he could have saved Solar Blaze safe. He thinks Eagle's going to die. Just too. losing every single buff there, getting his stacks is not good for him. Yeah, all those stacks that took a few turns to apply are just gone. Goes for another Ice Spears, probably couldn't kill the Sticky Wave, but Eagle's gone. Okay, so, Elder Gel also running Fire Pillar. Alright, Gel only getting two sacks of Sorcerer, but he can still kill. Or at least it looks like he can kill Spinner, but there's always that dodge chance. I like to go for Toad, though. Got that crit on the first hit, which is pretty useful. That's nice, but this is still in Jeff Wolf's court here, I think, because yeah. Oculus still just going to come in and heal. can even get rid of the blinds now. Right. 
So let's see if he goes for a plenish or not here. Oh, goes for a sticky webs for first move. I guess he has. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, go okay. For some he's combo. gonna go for yeah. yeah Hades here. He says, "I don't care about my two blinds. I'm just gonna build a combo for some debuffs." That's actually interesting. That it looked like Oculus didn't even share that many charts. Oh, he has Flash level five. Interesting. Oh yeah, he looks like. Well, he had. I saw he had Poison Eater earlier, so maybe he's going for a physical, more physical build. Probably a good call covering up over his uh, Dragon Noir and Gel, which probably have mostly magic stuff. Ooh, big fireball Wait. kills the Argo. Yeah, so that that is actually quite big for Barrel because now he won't have that channeling balance, or Flung Jeff won't have the channeling balance anymore. Yeah, so now he's sitting pretty with plenty of sorcery stacks. He even got some barriers up. I don't know if he'll be able to. He can maybe kill the Gel here. Oh, he has Sticky Webs. He can probably kill the Gel. It's probably the sign he wants the AoE or not to risk killing the gel. Maybe apply some blinds on the other ones. Now he goes for the dark shroud. Go for it. Yeah. And now he can sticky webs. Uh, now he can stick it up, yeah. So this yeah. is pretty good. So this could still go either way. Noir doesn't have that many stacks here, but let's see how many sorcery he gets from this. He has three, and he can kill the spinner. Ooh, a couple misses there, but he still knocks him out. And he gains two sorcery stocks off that. The thing about sorcery is it actually has a really hard time dealing with Draco Noir. Um, and when it gets a lot of buffs, it just resists a lot of the attacks that there's nothing you can hit it with that's that it's weak to. So you have such few, so few physical moves. Yeah, Noir's pretty good at that. It's about being his decent resistance, is there? It's, especially the sorcery, yeah, since it's not a lot of physical moves. Yeah, so I think at the moment it's really, it's really reliant on Barrel's Noir staying alive. Like if if Barrel's Noir dies, then he'll be in real trouble. But um, if he can keep that Noir alive, I think he he should be able to win. He goes for the Protect, he wants to keep, Jeff Holt wants to keep his sword off. He plays some blind sacks, not much damage. Throw the Fire Pillar, gets a miss, a couple misses there, so not a lot of damage, it's good for him. It's good for Barrel here. He goes through a Thunderstorm, which is, I'm not sure why he didn't Solar Burst there, get more combo. Maybe hoping for some shock chart, some shock debuffs or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, could have got more combo. Saving some mana. He was running low the other game. And he spread he spread the blinds around. It looks like so. Oculus can only really remove. Oh, he goes Big for the potion. potion. No, he must not run and cast. Yeah, it. he must be in full debuff. Light Oculus trying to spread some leadership charges or something. Mm. Yeah, capsule would have been nice to. Get rid of those blind stacks. Of those stacks. Probably heal some more, get some bigger combo. Get a little shield too. Goes for the Whirlpool. Probably get rid of the Diva since he's not expecting a kill here. Oh wow. Ooh, <laughs> the, everything missed claws there. <laughs> That's where encapsulate would have been nice, but still. Got unlucky mm. with the dodge rolls and the blind procs. Yeah. Yeah, Nautilus is such a nice shielder. So, so good with the fortress. You gotta love the Fortrix sound effect too. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> oh wow, big, big shadow big storm coming storm. in. Pops the Phoenix Penny. Everyone like, oh, gets yeah. killed by the deal. Yeah. This is looking like game two going to barrel here. Yeah. Drops the Hades. Why not? Build some combo. See if you can kill something. Yeah, it's interesting because the, the start of this game looked really, really like it was um, in favor of flowing Jeff up. And I think once, once our Geop goes down, it makes the team quite a lot more fragile, so we'll see if see if he uh, compensates for that in the third game. Yeah, he was able to come with the Elder Trail, get the big fireball, give it an argue before they got too many channels. 
All right, so going into game three, Jeff will up with first turn again. So, so far, both first turners have won. So let's see what plays out. We've got the same teams as, as last time, so. No swaps, yeah. I was thinking about Nautilid and Beetleoid. I haven't seen this lead yet. Interesting, instead of Glow Drift. Okay. Oh, he goes back to the... Uh... Yeah. Preparation given a couple couple bears there, which is always nice at the start. Too bad no non eagle though. Yeah, I'm I'm a big fan of Manticorp in the in the sorcery team as a back row. Um and only running two supports because you you end up being able to just bring him in and, and combo off. <laughs> Go full aggro. Yeah, he's really flexible like that coming in. Oh wow, that's big such shadow big storm. Damage. Oh he's Ooh, you live. Doesn't proc the Phoenix spinner though. Yeah. I think we'll probably see a solar blaze. Or he's thinking Not about a black the fire filler. Oh, fortress. Okay, so now he can't he can't use ultis on either of the other monsters. Still got five blind stacks here, so this is not looking good for him. Wants to get rid of the blind stacks, get some charges, get some yeah. Alright, so he got rid of them all. I mean Jeffo up having first turn and you know, like he had he had two stacks of barrier on Argiope and three stacks of channel. But then yeah, the first turn that's, which is that's really rough. <laughs> not not good for, for barrel. So now he's sitting the five shields, two bears, and five channel stacks. Big shadow grass pops the Phoenix Infinity. So this is looking like a repeat of game one here. Jeff Wolf is able to set up, and now it looks like he's gonna be sitting pretty for the rest of the game, but we'll see what happens. I don't, know if, I don't know if Solar Blaze was the right play there. I think that maybe using Solar Burst and Fire Pillar would have been better because he can save the Solar Blaze for bringing in Elder Gel, for instance, and get those buffs. Yeah, Eagle's probably going to die this time, so he probably, yeah, should have saved it to try to spread some more sorcery stacks around. And it's it's also unlucky that none of the none of the blind stacks seem to be landing on Draco Noir. They all land on Toad. Toad don't care about no blinds. Big Shadow Storm, <laughs> killing Phoenix or Eagle actually, and then coming in decent damage, getting some stacks on the rest of the uh, this lineup there. Solar Burst doing a decent combo, and getting a decent stacks around, but no real damage going on. And the Fire Pillar, the Taunt. Even though it wouldn't have killed, still, you hate to see it. Yeah, it's so so rough at this point when it just it just becomes so hard to break through anything. And all the buffs gone, basically. Yeah, just wiped out by the solar by the uh, shadow grasp. Xfinity pop. Yeah, this looked like repeat of game one here. Not much he can do. He lost all his buffs here. You're just kind of stuck waiting it out. It's a bit rough. And more blind stacks being applied to Toad. <laughs> <laughs> I love blind Toads. Oh, look at that. Now he's got some bleeds too. See, Still I'd say maybe health. just wait it out with, uh, since he has the Dark Shift uh, Elder Germ, we'll build a couple charge stacks here and there before he goes for the kill, but there's always a Fear of Taunt, and then you're getting rid of your buffs and the stacks. So I mean, and, and Noir's really Shadow wait. Grasp is gonna, yeah, you can't really afford to wait around. Oh yeah, even, even besides all that, he'll just die. <laughs> Such big damage. Yeah, Noir's like, weakness stack, Pfft, I don't care, I got seven channels. Yeah, that um, that was a rough start for Barrel as well with the the double barrier on Argiope. He must I wonder he must be running Pandora's box, and then he started with a barrier and got one uh, from from the first turn. Yeah, he must be. He has a I think that's, who has preparation? Does Argiope have preparation, or is he just running Pandora's box? And he has double. He I got double from it. I don't think he has preparation, but he might. Then, um, then he might have just got double, yeah, from the straight from the box there. So that's very lucky for him. He might also have uh, 
Buckler. Is that the one that, that gives you all the extra attack? Yeah. An additional barrier and sidekick. He only has one sidekick, though. You think he'd get a second one by now with just bolster heals going around? Right. For another solar burst here. 20, 20 uh, blinds on Toad, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look at that, 26. Let's see how many blinds. 27. Let's see how it gets to at the end. But yeah, this is just rough for Barrel here. Not much you can do, honestly. You're fully stacked up with all your channels. It's very hard to break through. Yeah, it's, it's a bit demoralizing, honestly, just to kind of know that the opponent's gaining on you and there's, there's really nothing you can do to break through. Yeah, honestly, this is, you know, inevitable for Barrel, but he's sticking it out. I'm trying to see, maybe get some lucky Infinity Sacks shenanigans going on. Yeah, it's interesting that there. whoever ends up with Infinity Sacks first, like whoever gets the first turn of Infinity, it seems to, they might have just the slight opportunity to, to get a, you know, a slight edge. Yeah, that's the highest thing about, it, or the closest thing to a combat mechanic you got going on here. Because if you get it first, you can maybe get a lucky wipe here, and then, you know, swing the momentum back to your side. <laughs> Throw that the poison eater. Doesn't even blind him or sticky him. Doesn't care anymore. Just wants to kill him. Claw's almost closing oh, it's out. hanging on for dear life. Yeah. And resistant to uh, Earth there coming in clutch. Drops the solar blaze, maybe hoping to give him some more sorcery stacks. He just goes toad. for the toad. Oh wow, Look at that. 36 blind stacks, missing everything though. Yeah, neither team with the purify, but Jeff will upside just supplies so much more sacks. Yeah. yeah. And it's it's Big kind of like on. he benefits from attacking the DPS, whereas Barrel has to target the supports. Yeah, he really needs to get rid of that argue upside. It was a plus on his side. It's always good when you just let your DPS set up and then just kind of sit rampant since the other ones are such a threat. So Glow Droop is the only remaining uh, damage dealer. Oh yeah, I think he realized Close for the FF, yeah. yeah. Doesn't drag it out. Going into game four now. And Barrel oh, gets first turn this time. It's brought in Vertrag as well. So. Oh, interesting. He's going for the age. He's age trying to stuff. see if he can outscale them. Mm. Unfortunately, though, you know, Vertrag and Elder Joe both with the uh, mutual weakness here. <laughs> yeah, and he's got... Lots of neutral damage. And even with the... It's hard for him to kill anything, even with Fireball. Yeah, first turn, he can now kill, which is pretty surprising. Not sure if it's is slightly less uh, damage-oriented, because he has some more age passes, or if Jeff Wolf is just extra tanky for some reason. Yeah, Spinner is going to love to sticky webs this team, I think. Yeah, it's free real estate. He does have a slash level fire though, so maybe he's thinking on Oh, that's true, yeah. Get a single target. Yeah. Goes for the slash level fire. Big that damage. Bleed damage. Show. Yeah. Almost gets the uh, Phoenix Infinity pop there. Look at all those bleeds. Yeah, the Purify and the Age Purify coming in pretty clutch here. Goes for the Toad. Interesting. Oh, wow. The, oh, the Blood Magic didn't proc no, the on. Blood Magic was on one of the like, lower, yeah. lower procs I saw it there. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. It was, it was not on the big hit. Very close. Which would have given him a KO. The toad decides to go for Healing Wave instead of healing himself. Must hopefully spread some more buffs. But he knows we'll he doesn't have the fire pillar also, so he might not be able to kill a fireball. We'll see a slash, and it will probably kill Elder Gel after the Phoenix Affinity. Oh no, Ooh, just procced it. Yeah. Either way, still good for Gel Flop. Procs the Phoenix Affinity. He's pretty set up too. 
I mean, he still has a little. Still needs to get some more. Uh, what you call it? Challenge bounce zone. Fifty-two percent dodge chance. Oh, it's a big miss on the fireball. Yeah. Very unfortunate for a barrel there. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. The encapsulate removed all the bleeds, but none of the blinds. Yeah, that, that's what's nice about just he's throwing all the sacks on them, basically. <laughs> If we're trying to having double some... purify, it's kind of <laughs> bring back double purify, Vertrag, please. And Elder Drill goes down. But yeah, he can apply, you know, the, the wound. He can apply the tether. He can apply bleed and blind. Mm. So let's see if Eagle can do anything here with a fire pillar. No, not really. Too much channel and bounce going on. And gets the time anyways. It's Big actually missing. so huge that that Toad was able to survive and then come back to full health. Like, it's, yeah. Yeah. Yep, everyone's not, got not five. Ideal. Five channel stacks now, so he's sitting pretty. And then again, just getting rid of all them buffs and applying stacks at the same time. They even got weakness on everyone for good measure. Such a, um, yeah, just such a ruthless way to to whittle down the opponent, just oh, take out kills the through the, the Phoenix Affinity with the bleed there. Doesn't even care. Again, Noir having a physical weakness here. Spinner is just going to come in probably Ooh, another time. It didn't look like he'd kill, but maybe the blind sack could save him on this turn. Yeah, lots of, lots of taunts happening now. Spinner can just um, use his physical moves. And yeah, Spinner gonna Spinner here. Probably gonna get rid of Noir, but we'll see. I mean, Vertrag is, is kind of building up charge stacks for a, potentially a gravity later on, but it still seems that it wouldn't be enough to... He has a decent amount, but really, you're gonna need like a hundred, maybe even more to break through this. Uh... We got barrier and full channel dance, and there's always the chance for miss. No, mm. sorry, that Vertrag. If I was to jump up, I'd be like, I don't, I'm gonna ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he took him out. Kills him with the cleansing flame, though. Look at that. They didn't even have fire yeah. steps. But he still gets the uh, the variety bonus there since that's the first time he threw out the cleansing flame. That's right, yeah. Looking at the yeah, he's looking at the gravity, but again, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, sorry, oh, buddy, you're gonna need a lot this... more charge sets. Now I think Vertrag is gonna be the target because um, Glodra and Nautilus are are doing a whole lot. Gets rid of some buffs, throws on the tethers. He's got weakness. He still kept all of his eight sorcery sacks though. But look at this, throwing on all the bleeds, that physical damage, the wounds. Really, he has to drop the grab now, or he's gonna wind up dead before oh, Infinity he's, kicks him. Selected to encapsulate. I mean, I get it, because he probably would not kill here, but still. Right. Spinner, spinner's gonna spin her here. Oh, look at that, he gets Infinity first, too, since, yeah. since Barrel was first this game. Going for the heal to build up some charge stacks and remove some buffs. And weighing his options here. So maybe he's going to build some more charge stacks. Maybe he's just going to go for AoE. Oh, goes for the poison eater on that. Uh... Oh, look at that. He's going for the kill. That's what he wants. I guess and that's a bleed. A good, yeah. That's a good play because it kind of. It minimizes the impact of a potential gravity if... No, yeah. If you ever get the chance and you can leave them with two monsters, you really should go for it, like, a lot of the times. Even even if you're leaving the DPS alive. Goes for another encapsulate. He really wants this gravity. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's not much else he can do at this point, I think. Big shark, Dark Shroud coming in, getting rid of the buffs. He's got nine tether sacks now, two blinds. Big slash. Will this kill? Doesn't look like it, but we're either gonna see a grab here is, or kill next. Last time. chance to gravity, I think. Wow, that's get the dash for you. Sad. <laughs> oh, there you go. Just so, yeah, demoralizing. 
There's three infinity here, looks like. And some charge stack on the hill. Looks like Spinner's gonna spinner. There's gonna be a dead vert track. Gets rid of the bear, gets rid of all his buffs, yep. Ooh, a dark shroud even. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so and he goes for the after. Jaffle up as well. Jaffle yeah, up, actually. going for the win here. Gets a win even on second turn there. So GG's to yeah. him. Thank you guys all for watching the tournament. We'll see you all next time.